Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Building blocks allow you to create reusable content that you can insert into your publication pages. For example, you could save your company's logo and name as a custom building block that you could easily insert into your future publications without having to recreate all of the content and related formatting. The content that can be saved as a building block can range in complexity from simple text entries to more complex logos and watermarks. The building block content is saved into and organized by galleries, much in the same way clipart is organized. You can create your own custom building blocks, or you can download many types of building blocks that have already been created from Office.com. Downloading samples from Office.com can also give new users a good idea of the possible uses of building blocks. In this lesson, we'll examine how to create and use your own custom building blocks in Publisher. First, you'll need to create the content within a publication that you want to save and reuse as a building block. Often, you will group the content together using the group command prior to saving it. Once you've created the grouped content, you then need to select it. We'll go ahead and select this image that we have right here, which is a small shape that we have with some text overlaid. So we'll give it a click to save it. Once you have the content that you want to save selected, you can then save it as a building block by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking the Page Parts button in the Building Blocks group right here. Near the bottom of the drop-down menu of choices, choose the Add Selection to Page Parts Gallery command. Right here. And that will invoke the Create New Building Block dialog box. Here is where you will give Publisher the information that you will need to store and organize the content for later use. First, you can enter a name for the building block into the Title field. Right here at the top, we'll call this Free shipping and handling. After that, if you want, you can also enter a description into the description text field. Then you'll want to use the gallery drop-down to choose the type of gallery into which you want to save the content. So we have a few choices here. Advertisements we'll choose because that's what we're going to be using this in. To ensure that the content is available in the gallery, make sure that the Show in Gallery checkbox just below that is checked. You then use the Category drop-down to choose either an existing classification category or to create a new category for classification purposes. And we'll select Advertisements as well. If you want, you can also enter keywords into the Keywords text box here that will allow users to search for the part by keyword if desired. Once you've finished entering all the information that you want to enter, you just click the OK button to save the selected content as a building block into the selected template. Once you've saved a building block, you can then easily reuse it in the future. We'll now examine how to insert the building block content and also how to edit or delete existing building blocks. In Publisher, you can use the Building Block Library to perform many tasks related to the use of building blocks. This dialog box allows the user to insert, edit the properties of, or delete existing building block content. You access this dialog box by clicking the Insert tab on the ribbon, we already have it selected, and then clicking the Page Parts button in the Building Blocks group here. Now, choose the More Page Parts command from the drop-down menu of choices located at the bottom. Give that a click. And that will open the Building Block Library dialog box that we see here. Now, this shows a listing of the building blocks which are available for use. You can click on any one of the building blocks shown in the list to select the building block and preview its content in the area at the right of the dialog box. Now, what you'll see here is that you have some building blocks, but you also have folders which contain other building blocks. So as you navigate around like you would in any other navigation dialog box, you can click around to see, you can scroll down to all the different building blocks in that folder. 
if you want to get back, you can just click the Home button here, and it'll take you back to the Home area. Now to insert a building block, you select it from the list, and then click the Insert button at the bottom of the dialog box. So let's look in our Advertisements folder here. We'll scroll down a bit, and here's our free shipping and handling. So we'll give that a click to select it. You'll see it's displayed over here on the right. Then to insert it, just click Insert at the bottom, and it inserts it into our publication. We'll go ahead for right now and delete that out. And we'll open up that dialog box again so we can take a look at some other things. Now to edit the properties of or delete a building block, First, you need to select the name of a building block from the list shown in the building block library. So we'll go to Home, we'll go to Advertisements again, and we'll find the one that we created right here. Now if you wish to delete the selected building block, just right-click the selected item, and then choose the Delete command from the pop-up menu that appears. Give that a left click. You'll then be prompted to confirm your choice in another dialog box. You would click Yes to delete the selected building block. And in this case, the building blocks organizer dialog box will remain open. We don't want to delete that just now, so we'll click no. Now to edit the properties of a building block, let's take a look at that. We'll scroll back down, we'll select our building block that we made, right click again, and then this time left click on edit properties. And that will open the edit building block properties dialog box that we've seen before. And so here we can edit any of the associated properties of the building block. We can change the name, we can enter a description, enter the keywords, make any changes you want. And once you're finished with that, then you just click OK to save your changes. Now, note that you can also insert a building block by simply clicking the desired type of building block to insert from the button shown in the Building Blocks group on the Insert tab in the ribbon. Let's look at this. Now, if you want to close the Building Block Library, just click Close. So back up in the ribbon on the Insert tab, we'll go back to the Building Blocks group, and we'll see that we have different drop-down menus here in these buttons. So for example, on Page Parts, if I give that a click, I can see the various groupings, headings, pull quotes, sidebars, etc. And I could insert any of those by clicking on them to quickly insert it. Go ahead and delete that. Now, the other thing that you can see is that we have some other choices here. If you hover your mouse over, you'll see that we have calendars, we have borders and accents, and we have advertisements as well to quickly access the content in those building block categories. So you do the same thing. You would just give it a click to open it up, find what you want, give it a click, and it would insert it for you. Now also note that you can click the Show Building Blocks Library button that appears in the lower right hand corner of the Building Blocks group right here, and that will open the Building Block Library dialog box that we saw before. So that's another way to open it. And again, you can just click Close to close that. So that's how you create and use Building Blocks in Publisher. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.